Good morning, everyone. We are just gonna wait a minute and see who jumps on with us for our simple summer meal three-day cooking class. So before we get started, go grab that pen and paper because we are gonna want you to make a wish list of all of the fabulous healthy products and time-saving cookware that we're gonna show you today. So who is excited about our first demo breakfast? Send us some hearts, send us some likes, let us know that you are here with us. All right, so my name is Gina Caldwell and I am a founding senior director out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And prior to about a year ago when um, I joined, I was a time-starved mom, just like all of you here. I was having the same mealtime dilemmas that you guys had talked about in that post. I was running my son to extracurricular activities. We were a busy family. So I was time starved and I was unmotivated. And fast forward to Epicure and Epicure really solved all of those mealtime dilemmas. So I am your first uh, cooking class demo this morning and I am going to show you how you can solve some of those dilemmas and save time in the kitchen over breakfast. So before we get into what we are cooking this morning, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the healthy aspect of Epicure. So you guys should have seen our never ever list in the post. So make sure you go back, check that out. We have no preservatives, no dyes. We are 100% gluten free. We are sugar conscious, sodium conscious, and if you guys have any allergies, reach out to the consultant that is working with you and they will help you to find the right products that are just the right fit for you. Okay, so we are gonna be talking about breakfast and we are entering one of those busy summer seasons. I know my son, is gonna be involved in some um, extracurricular activities this summer. So we are gonna to wanna to get you into the kitchen and out really quick. So what are we cooking today? So I'm going to be showing you how to make an individual French toast in one of our time-saving breakfast cookwares, which is our omelet maker. I'm also gonna be showing you how to make some egg bake bites that you can whip up on a Sunday afternoon and have them available for the entire week. And then for those mornings that you are like running out the door, we are going to be making a yogurt parfait. All right, so let's start cooking with our um, French toast individual in the omelet maker. So what I did, you guys, is I just cut up um, one piece of bread, about one and a half pieces. Um, and then this is our one cup prep bowl. I added um, an egg and two tablespoons of milk to it. And I um, just um, am going to add this to our omelet maker and our bread. And we have some of these great dips that are available to spice up these a little bit. So one of my favorites is our summer berry. I'm also gonna be talking about this in our yogurt parfait, um, but I'm gonna be using our apple pie spice. And I'm just gonna take off the cover, and this is our four in one spice spoon. If you guys do not have one of these, they are so fabulous. It's a tablespoon, half tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon. Um, and you just have one utensil that fits in your drawer. So I'm going to just spread some of this on to our um, French toast here. And I'm just gonna pop our omelet maker in our microwave for two minutes. And you're gonna wanna make sure that the holes are side up. And I'll talk a little bit more about our time-saving cookware in a minute. So that is our 
omelet maker. It's great for omelets. You can make a hash brown omelet make it. You can obviously make um, our French toast in it. I take it with me on vacation if we have a microwave in our room. You can also take it in your camper camping. So such great options available to you to take, save time while you travel. So that is our first silicone cookware. Um, and all of our cookware is microwavable, obviously. It can also go in your oven, but the best part for easy cleanup is it goes right in your dishwasher. Okay, so while that is cooking up two minutes, I'm gonna show you how to make these great egg bites. Again, you can whip these up ahead of time, keep them in your refrigerator, so I have half of them done in the oven and I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but I added eight eggs and then you add a fourth of a cup of milk. And we're just going to um, add it about half full. And our time saving cookware um, does not use any of your spray oils on it. So usually I'll just take a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil, especially if it's a sticky like eggs. So we have our eggs in our muffin maker. So this is where it gets great because if you have picky eaters, they can choose what they put into their egg bites. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion, a little bit of spinach, and then we have some great spices that we are gonna add to it. So this entire uh, for demos is going to be focused on our simple summer collection and our simple summer collection is on page 15 of your catalog um, so if you are interested in checking it out reach out to the consultant that invited you get that catalog and check it out um, but these three products are in that collection and this is my favorite and you wouldn't think of it in eggs but the west coast burger seasoning um, you can just add a little bit of that to each of these egg cups. So I'm going to do it in three of those. And then we have this red garlic uh, topper blend. It's garlic, red bell pepper, organic apple cider vinegar. This is a great topper for so many different things, but especially our eggs. So I'm going to add a little bit in each of uh, these two. And then if you're up for a little Italian in our simple summer collection is some pesto. So I'm gonna add that in our third one. And then we have this cute little mini whisk. So I'm just gonna whisk these around. And it's done. So this goes in your oven for 15 minutes at 375, or it can go in your microwave even um, for about two and a half minutes. And I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, microwave cooking, what? Eggs in the microwave? You're gonna see microwave cooking all throughout our demos today. So please reach out to that consultant if you're a little bit anxious about microwave cooking. We have some articles um, from the Cancer Society and also Harvard in regards to the benefits of microwave cooking. Okay, I'm gonna show you our finished product of both our French toast and our egg bites. All right, so these are our finished egg bites. And when you let them cool, this is how great our silicone is, you guys. They just pop right out. So if you have muffins, egg bites, cupcakes, um, it is just so quick and easy for these. They're just popping right out of here uh, to pop out. And you have these cute little egg bites that you can offer to your guests on a weekend. Okay, so we are going to grab our um, French toast. I'm going to show you our finished product of our French toast. And again, our French toast should just pop right out. And our French toast, I'm just going to add a little bit of that summer berry topper. And look how full 
Uh, this is a brand new jar, so I just want you guys to see how full our products are. We definitely don't skimp on any of that. So you can add a little bit of summer berry um, to your French toast. Okay, you guys, so we have those two done. I'm just going to talk a little bit about our yogurt parfait. Again, these cute little prep bowls, they're one cup. They have a quarter, half, and a cup, and they come with this great lid for storage. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of granola at the bottom, and then I love this yogurt. Two good two grams of sugar yogurt. So we just add a couple of scoops of that on top. And then we have whole food toppers. So this one is our Cocoa Crunch, if you are a chocolate fan, or our Tutti Fruity, if you are more of a fruit fan. Both of these are great on waffles, they're great on your pancakes, um, and they are super healthy because they are made with real food, fruit. So I am just going to top that, and you can see how quick and easy and delicious a little parfait is. You can add some strawberries, you can add some blueberries, and you have a quick um, breakfast right out the door. Okay, you guys, so that was 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So our um, egg bites would have been done in two and a half minutes, 15 in the oven. Um, our French toast is done in two minutes. And obviously this was like 30 seconds to whip up, right? So if you are liking what you see, send me some hearts, send me some likes. If you can see yourself using these products in your kitchen, um, I'd like to hear that too. All right, you guys, so we are wrapping up this demo. So remember, set your timer for noon. You are gonna have a lunch demo using our time-saving cookware and our multi-purpose steamer. You definitely don't wanna miss that. Um, and then we also have a four o'clock appetizer, salad, and then at seven o'clock p.m. Central all times, uh, you are going to see a dinner. So if you have a wish list and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this, how can I get it? So there's a couple of ways that you can do that that will be talked more at the end. But one way is if you're like, huh, this seems kind of fun, maybe I can do this, you definitely can reach out to the consultant that invited you and learn more about the business opportunity because you can get this for a discount. The second way is by hosting a party. Yes, that's what we love to do. We love to do these cooking demos. So on average, our hostesses earn about $100 in products. And then lastly, you guys can order. You can get those items off your wish list. You can support your consultant or your hostess that invited you. And um, you can try Epic here. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for spending your morning with me. If you have any questions, please reach out to the person that invited you. If you had fun, send some hearts, send some likes. And we will all see you back here again at 1 o'clock.